The sphenoid bone is this pink bone that looks like a butterfly or a bat back in here. You can see it in the uh, orbits. You can see it in the cranium itself. We're looking down in the cranium now. Um, here is the sphenoid bone. There's some the characteristics that you're responsible for on the sphenoid bone are the optic foramina. The optic foramina are these holes right here that the optic nerve passes through. This little groove between them is the um, chiasmatic groove. This region right here is the cella tersica because it looks like a Turkish sa saddle. Um, these are the greater wings of the sphenoid bone. And we have some um, holes associated with the sphenoid bone. This is uh, what we call the foramen ovale. It has an oval shape, pretty distinctive oval shape on either side. Just posterior to that is the frame, foramen spinosum, which just isn't visible on this colored skull. It's filled in with uh, latex paint. So now we're going to go to the natural skull and find those same characteristics, and we'll be able to see those uh, foramen a little more clearly. Okay, stop that. Okay, here's the natural skull. I'm going to outline the sphenoid bone. The sphenoid bone goes about like this, down here, kind of up like this. There's the sphenoid bone. You can kind of see the pink over there on that other one. So there's the sphenoid bone. Let's find the characteristics on this one. So it'll be uh, recognizable on the natural skull. I'm putting this probe in an optic foramen. Here's an optic foramen. Here's an optic foramen. Here is the chiasmatic groove that lies between the two optic foramina. In this region, we find the cella tersica. And now let's look for those foramina. Here is a nice oval opening or hole. That is foramen ovale. Just slightly lateral and posterior to that is a little tiny opening, and that is foramen spinosum. Foramen ovale on this side, foramen spinosum, just a little bit lateral and posterior. And then we have the foramen lacerum, this big, what can appear very lacerated um, opening. Now I'm going to turn this over, and we'll find those foramina here also. Okay. Here's foramen uh, ovale, foramen spinosum, and foramen lacerum. Lacerum, ovale, spinosum. Kind of like a triangle on both sides. Okay, in the uh, superior half of the orbit, you can see a little groove there. That groove is a fissure because it's in the top half of the orbit. It's called the superior orbital fissure, and you're responsible for that.